far as one exciting player from both the Falcons and Jaguars, uh, I think there's a lot of different players on both rosters that you can kind of look this out. But um, this is kind of continuing on with my, my segment of picking one player from every team by division. I, I think we we started with the, uh, the NFC and AFC East. Uh, now we're on to the AFC and NFC South. Um, so now we're, we're going to start. We, we start with the worst teams too in each division. So I mean by record, uh, so that way they have something to be to be uh, excited about. So the the Falcons and Jaguars both have the worst records in their divisions. Um, for the Falcons, I think there's a lot to like from the Falcons in terms of draft class. Uh, I think they're gonna um, they're gonna have a lot of fun, uh, especially this next year. I think um, Matt Ryan's gonna get back to doing what he does. Um, Julio Jones is amazing, um, but. As far as a player that actually really impressed me, what about a guy like Mikel Walker? Like, I understand that a guy that's 6'3", 230 playing linebacker, you know, usually that's not, 250 is what you're looking for, but this guy can run. Not only that, he can flat out play. Uh, formerly of uh, a fourth round draft pick out of Fresno State, Mikel Walker um, was a guy uh, coming out that uh, in a relatively... I would say deep uh, class. I think that he was a guy that, are uh, in terms of the draft, that is. I think he's uh, a guy that a lot of people looked at and said, "Okay, he's pretty athletic. He can clearly run. And he can play. He can play too." Um, but uh, I mean, he's just uh, he's a man. I think he's uh, absolutely a guy that a lot of people who look at him and say that uh, he can cover space. He can also uh, make a tackle in the run game, uh, and that's evident by his PFF grade. I actually just had it up here, so give me a second. Um, Mikel Walker, PFF. Uh, 70.4, I believe, was off the top of my head. I must have closed it on accident. But Mikel Walker, to me, is a, a player that everybody should be excited about. Excuse me, a 74 PFF grade. Uh, finished with to 29 total tackles. Um, 13 were assisted, also forced to fumble. Now, not a very big sample size for a guy that um, who played well and, and earned a 74 uh, PFF grade, but it's exciting. It's definitely exciting. Uh, played in all 16 games, started six of them. Um, actually, according to this is what I, I I do like PFF, but sometimes they they, they kind of they, they, their tackles are kind of missed uh, are wrong or they're just not correct because on the on the website of the Falcons it says he has 43 tackles, but on um, on PFF it says he has 29. Oh, plus 13. Okay, I was wrong. Never mind. 42. So I mean, one tackle off, not the end of the world. But uh, back to uh, back to Mikhail Walker here. Um, Honestly, a player that can be very special. Uh, I th you talk about a guy that started uh, in six games and played in 16, uh, finished with, once again, 43 tackles, also had a pass uh, broken up, uh, forced to fumble. Um, for a guy, for a team that needs some uh, some stout linebackers that can cover and that can run, McCall Walker is that guy. Uh, and I think that he's uh, going to be something special moving forward um, for the Falcons. And I think the, that fans should be, um, I don't think he's going to be a, a big pressure guy, but I mean, if you look at him, um, for what the, the, for what he is and what he brings um, to the team, I think he's gonna he, obviously clearly he can run in space, he can make tackles and fly around uh, for that defense. Um, but if you if you go back all the way to his Fresno State uh, Fresno State uh, tape and stats, I mean look at a guy um, he had a pick six his freshman year um, and played in 14 games, uh, had 86 tackles, 13 and a half for loss and four sacks, uh, and then the, his uh, his senior year. Uh, had a total of 96 tackles and including nine for loss and two and a half sacks. So I'm um, in four passes defense. A guy that just flies around, makes plays. I don't. Th again, I don't think he's going to be a huge, uh, a huge guy in terms of pass rushing ability. I could be wrong, but I definitely think he's going to fly around, just continue to make plays for that defense, um, and just provide another element uh, and scariness to the Falcons defense.